Last season a few storylines dominated the entire NBA season. The inevitability of Cavaliers Warriors 3, how would Kevin Durant work with the Warriors, Russell Westbrook vs. The World. For some small market teams though, the Chronicles were a bit smaller in scale. In 20,162,017, we turned our eyes to Kemba Walker to see if he could continue his improvement. Now, we should watch these stories develop in the Queen City for the Charlotte Hornets.1. How will Dwight Howard fit? All eyes will be on Superman as he integrates into a third team in three seasons. The Always Milling Center will look to be a difference maker in Charlotte after being traded for Miles Plumley, Marco Bellinelli and the 31st pick. Rumors swirl about how well Howard will be able to blend into the fabric of Charlotte's roster. The Low Post podcast reported hearing that Atlanta Hawks players shouted with joy upon hearing news of the trade. D12 doesn't exactly come with a crystal clean record either, after having fallouts in Houston, Los Angeles, and Orlando. On the court though, Dwight's impact will surely be felt, but it's unsure in what aspect. Howard has made his distaste for the Picandro well known, but Kemba Walker is most effective utilizing hard screens. Last season, Walker and Cody Zeller developed a special chemistry with the Picandrel, making it one of Charlotte's most effective plays offensively. It remains to be seen if Howard will set the screens needed for Kemba be the maestro of the offense that he is, or if he will continue to demand back to the back touches on the low block point too. Can Kemba Walker make Alba Charlotte's MVP has improved every year since he stepped foot in the league. Can he continue his growth and make the leap from All-Star to Alba the deck is stacked against him, but that hasn't stopped him before. Isaiah Thomas is the only Alba guard likely to fall off the list, and that's only because he's hampered by injury. Jimmy Butler may not appear again, only because he won't have to carry such a dismal roster. So with two guard slots possibly open, it's difficult for Kemba to make the final leap to Alba. Fellow snubs like Damian Lillard, Kiri Irving, Chris Paul and Clay Thompson will be competing for the slots too, meaning the continued evolution of Walker may not even be enough. It will require a truly astronomical effort, but doubters of Kemba have fallen silent before point three. Malik Monk in the all-rookie race Charlotte caught some breaks in the 2017 NBA draft and picked Malik Monk, who was expected off the board as high as eight. The freakishly athletic combo guard has struggled with ankle injuries but appears to be fine at the moment. His blend of speed, agility, and shooting stroke makes him a likely rotation player off the bench only behind Frank Kaminsky and Cody Zeller. Although he's not a top pick for Rookie of the Year, he's got a great shot to make an all-rookie team. Few rookies have both the skill and opportunity to contribute to their teams in their first year. Monk certainly has that. Look for him to compete even in a stacked rookie class for guards.4 playoff picture hopes haven't been this high in Charlotte for some time. Charlotte is projected as a midly throat playoff team, with pretty solid odds to make it to the second round. It'll be essential to monitor the playoff race in the Eastern Conference for Hornets fans. Watching Steve Clifford deal with these expectations will be interesting, to say the least. On the opposite side, no one wants a repeat of last season. Back-to-back -back disappointing seasons in a week east would kill the excitement surrounding the team. Can Charlotte handle lofty expectations to make the playoffs will the pressure to succeed prove too much following along those lines, and keeping eyes on the playoff hunt could prove to be a sneakily good storyline this year.5. Bounce backs for Marvin Williams and Nicholas Batum Marvin Williams and Nicholas Batum posted disappointing 20,162,017 campaigns, given their 20,152,016 seasons. Can they rebound and return to form if they don't, it could be disastrous for Charlotte. Both of their shooting splits here and here were pretty saddening, given what we had come to expect of them. Their court spacing abilities are going to be important for the upcoming season, let's hope they can recover to push Charlotte further. Watching the Hornets all year long may seem repetitive to some, but watching for these five storylines night in and night out will make every game compelling this year. Will Dwight work out can Kemba keep growing, how well will Malik Monk do, where will the Hornets end up in the playoffs, what versions of Marvin and Batum will we get there's only one way to find out. Let's hope tip-off gets here soon.